Hello and welcome back. Now we have been through quite a bit together. We've talked about emotions and all the ups and downs of that and how to move through them. And we've talked about money and budgeting, advocates. And in this lesson, we'll talk about your revenue recipe, the income recipe. And we'll do this in the hopes of thinking about how we can potentially pay Uncle Sam only his fair share, all right? So we want to keep more for ourselves so that we can spend more for ourselves and yet be a good citizen and pay Uncle Sam what is required. But let's look at the ingredients of your income. So if you just have one type of income, like say just Social Security, then there's probably not much in thinking this through because that's all the income that you'll have and you'll be in a certain income tax bracket. But if you might have, say, a pension or a brokerage account, IRAs, right? So there's traditional SEP and simple IRAs. There's a Roth IRA. When you take money out of a Roth, there is no income tax on, on those withdrawals. So that's awesome. And you might have insurance or annuities, maybe some real estate where somebody is paying you for land that they're uh, renting or a house that they're renting. Um, you might even have business or um, investment income. So in looking at all of those different buckets, we might want to make sure that your advocate or you know about the income tax that you might have to pay on Social Security if you have other income. Just Social Security by itself will not get you into a tax bracket where you have to pay taxes on Social Security, but there are some rules and they do change. So please know about them or ask about them. So as we have, that, have these different buckets, say the traditional IRA 401k type bucket, when we take any money out of this, it adds to your income for the year. So knowing if Social Security is taxed at a certain amount and you take that much out of your 401k, IRA, and other income, then you'll pay Uncle Sam more that year. And perhaps that's what you need for your expenses. But if not, and you can plan it out for this year and in the future, you will be able to keep more for yourself and be able to spend more for you and your family. Just knowing all of the different rules and regulations uh, makes a big difference for the income and even expenses. For instance, right now, as of this recording, it's 2020 and we have the SECURE Act and it's about to change in 2025 or they might even change it next year. So knowing what that is, how much of the income taxes and um, like capital gains taxes, if you have investments, will make a huge difference for you and your family. So please do get with your advocate or research or reach out to us. We will be glad to help. And I look forward to seeing you in the future.